Alright, welcome everybody. This is Tech. Just doing a little quick video here, a video update mainly because I haven't done a video in a little while because of the holidays and everything. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, you found this through another search. This is kind of going to be some general scoundrel gameplay on Alderan. Um, as you can see here, my character is level 31. I have Bodar as my companion. Um, just came to Alderan actually, which is a really cool looking planet so far. I've been doing stuff on Tantooine so f for the last day or so. Um, but I've been busy with the holidays and everything else. Um, but for those not familiar with my channel, uh, there'll be a subscribe thing on here, so you can subscribe. I am doing a lot of videos. I'm getting ready to ramp up for a few series, in particular with me and some other people doing PvP, some instance runs, things like that. So um, I am playing a scoundrel. I am uh, actually the heal spec on my scoundrel. So. Um, You'll see a little bit of that here as we go. Even though I'm in the heal spec, I'm still able to do some good DPS, so... And I'm able to heal the instances with uh, my guild mates and things like that, and PvP, obviously. But these are some of my first mobs I've killed on the planet. Ooh, Bodar jacking them. Um, the Scoundrel is a fun class to play. I have a quest right now, just to kind of show you guys a little bit of gameplay here. i got two quests out here. One is to, I guess the bonus is to defeat the forces, but I have to um, defuse some explosives. So I'll work on that for here for just a couple minutes. Where's the explosives at? Oh, there's one right there, that barrel looking thing. Is there one there? Looks like there's one over here too. Let's go ahead and mez a guy. Even as I even have mezes as well on humanoids and on robots. So he's mezzed for a minute, and then we'll come over here and get this guy. one. Alright, yeah, I'm defusing these bombs, I guess, that they're trying to drop on the main outpost or something here. Is this another one here? No, it's just a rock. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, here's some scavengeable. I actually do arms tech, which is making blasters and weapons and things. So whenever I see stuff like that, I try to pick it up. Oops, somebody. Let's go get this one here. way here real quick. Put a couple hots on them. You have like a double stack hot that I'm throwing on them there. And we'll finish this guy off. That jerk. I was fighting the guys at this bomb and he comes up and steals that one and then runs over and steals the other one. There's only two of us out here and he's got to come over five feet away from me and steal the quest objectives. Typical, right? Actually, it looks like there's only 36 people in this version of the zone. Let's see if these pop back real quick and then I'm going to head over towards my actual class quest and maybe show you guys a little bit of that dialogue just to give you a little feel of the game for some of you that are maybe a little interested. The scoundrel class that I'm playing, um, like I said, I am in the um, the actual heal, uh, heal tree. I'm sorry. Right there. 
so you can kind of see where my points are all distributed. Uh, I'll have to come back and do this later because I don't think they're going to pop back up. So let's just kind of head over here. Let's see if we can get over here real quick. I think there's a flight point thing right over here I don't have yet. Go ahead and grab that real fast. But as you can see, the graphics are really nice. This is a really uh, nice looking area. Yeah, I was trying to hop that rock. It didn't work. Um, looks like the flight path is right over here around the corner. Just grab that root. Oh, hey! Sorry, I can't pass up scavenging. If you're one of those kind of players, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Go over here and grab these real quick. Um, I do have some other videos that are coming up soon, though. Like I mentioned, um, I will be doing a uh, some PvP videos. I've been recording some footage, and uh, hopefully try to get some of that up soon. All right, so where we at here? We got to go. Looks like it's right over here. Maybe up these stairs somewhere. I'm going. There's a quest there. I'll come get that later little village. As you can see, this area right here isn't very populated right this minute. Again, there's only 36 people in this version, but see, I'm, it's all, I'm in Alderaan 3. Why isn't there a 1? <laughs> there's only a 2 and a 3. That's one little tip for some of you, is it's kind of weird how there's some, sometimes there's, there can be two or three versions of an instance. So if, like, say you find an elite mob or, or a, a fat loot chest or something like that, Sometimes you can go ahead and get it and then hop over to a second version of the instance and, you know, do a double dip. A lot of people in my guild are doing that in certain places, so just kind of a little tip for some of you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they always kick you off the speeders. That's a cool looking building, huh? Pretty neat looking. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going in here. I'm supposedly I'm bringing I'm bringing some equipment on my storyline. I won't do too many spoilers here, but I'm bringing some equipment that I got from uh, Tantooine to some people here to try to get their help because I'm in search of a uh, of a treasure kind of so. You'll kind of get to see a little bit of it in the storyline here. Let's see where I'm going. All the, all the way to the end. And just, I'm, I, I'm kind of the, one of the players, if you see my guy in, in the combat and stuff. Um, I'm kind of one of those people. I keep my gear fairly up to date. Um, I'm obviously able to make my own pistols, things like that, but I have been doing instances. Um, I mean, some of this stuff's a little under. That's like level 21, but remember on this game it's a little weird because you can replace the modules and implants and things to make them better. So, um, and I do have, you know, some stuff that I'm holding on to to upgrade into here fairly soon. So, let's kind of keep going here. Let's see. Man, getting a tour of the whole building here. Alright, the other side. Got it. And I got some battle droids up in this joint. But anyway, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Um, I'm in a guild with a bunch of friends. There's about ten or ten or so of us that uh, formed a guild together. Um, I'm the only one on right this second because it's kind of late. Um, but there's like 15 of us you can see here. Um, and like I said, we're having a pretty good time with it. Nobody's, you know, really powering too hard, so that's why none of us are, like, necessarily 50 yet, so. Alright. Man, oh man. This place is huge. That's a cool looking chamber. made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid. I'm here to collect. 
Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is not <laughs> I thought that's what you meant. Juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold. Well, Lord. hello. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flames. Please call me Len. Man, yeah, we gotta go with the flirt. Your sister is cute. What should I call your beautiful sister? <laughs> Seti. She loves that. Please don't listen to my brother. He has the unfortunate quality of being an idiot. <laughs> Bodar, Bodar said I like her. <laughs> uh, you're his sweetheart. My friend thinks your sister is cute. <laughs> you may have finally found your perfect match, Sidonia. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. You still have this old clanker, for whatever it's worth. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan. But we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode. Oh, but of course. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayless's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Okay, well then I'll just destroy the droid right here and set it on fire and let you guys watch. How's that sound? <laughs> can't pay me. Uh... Are you looking to hire me? You're obviously talented at acquiring things. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Tehran family history at our state's library. If you retrieve that data pad, We'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. Okay. What am I looking for, exactly? They'll be the valuable-looking things surrounded by guards. Then, it's time for your meeting with House Organa. Don't keep their counselors waiting this time. You just want this handsome stranger to yourself. Next time, dear sister, you get to beg our hosts for their table scraps. What are you waiting for? An invitation? <laughs> I'll try not to come back too soon, dear sister. <laughs> you talk, I'll go find food. I couldn't face another dreary meeting with House Organa's counselors. Thank you for Oh, yeah. I've been looking forward to a private chat since I got here. I'll try not to disappoint you. When I was a girl, I dreamed of adventuring among the stars. What's it like living that life? Come to my Aww. ship. See? <laughs> that would generate no end of gossip. This is already quite a breach of etiquette, you know. An off world man calling on a lady in private. People will talk. Face it, you can't resist me. I'm often drawn to things I'm not supposed to have. Regardless, I've kept you from your business long enough. Please, take care of yourself out there. <laughs> oh, there, I got a feeling there's going to be a fade to black scene later in this uh, quest line. Uh, so anyway, they gave me a quest too. Uh, let's see, that was the fuse one, so they, I got to go find some data pad and get some heirlooms for them so and it'll take me about five minutes to get outside the building so I'll probably just pause it here for a second 